Welcome back. Founder of Loco Sports, Justin Jarrett is here, and we are talking all things Low Country Sports. Thanks for being with us, Justin. Yeah, always a pleasure. So we have a big event coming up, RBC Heritage. There's no bigger event really than that uh, around here in sports. So we're just two weeks away. How is the field shaping up for this year's event? Yeah, it's, uh, it's starting to look pretty good at the top. I mean, you've got the number one golfer in the world, Dustin Johnson, coming back to his home state event for the first time in almost a decade, so that's great. Uh, you got some of the past champions who are big names like Jim Furyk, Matt Kuchar, uh, Brett, Brent Snedeker, Graham McDowell, all those guys uh, are mainstays around here. And then uh, we're just kind of waiting to, to see what other big names will commit. There are usually a few that will trickle out the last couple of weeks before the tournament. Bryson DeChambeau is another one we're going to keep an eye on. He played very well down at the Arnold Palmer in Orlando and is one of the young up-and-coming players. So it's always exciting to see some of those, those big names come out for the Heritage. It absolutely is, and what a great time it is every year. So we're going to shift to high school sports, and of course there is a big rivalry in Bluffton, and that is the Bobcats against the May River Sharks. Which team has the upper hand this spring? Well, uh, Little Brother's holding its own right now. May River in just its second year uh, playing varsity athletics, but, but they've got the upper hand so far this spring against the Bobcats. Uh, they took two out of three on the baseball diamond, swept all three in softball. Uh, really, the only sports that have gone Bluffton's way so far have been girls soccer and girls lacrosse. They've been dominant in those two, but uh, boys soccer, Main River got a great 1-0 win the other night over Bluffton in a matchup of two of the top teams in 3A, and uh, they'll play again later this year, so that's going to be an exciting one to watch. It is, it's always exciting to watch what happens between those two teams. So do any of these teams have a shot at making a deep run in the playoffs or possibly winning a state championship? Yeah, I think so. Uh, May River boys soccer in particular has been red hot. They've only got one loss, and that was to the defending state champion Bishop England. Uh, they're ranked number two in, in Class 3A, and again, Bluffton right there on their heels. So uh, we could see them play each other again, per perhaps for a third time deep in the playoffs. Uh, the Bluffton girls lacrosse team looking really good. May River boys lacrosse has played very well as well. And, uh, and of course, we've always got some great tennis and golf teams around here, so you've always got to keep an eye on them. Right. And I know spring is also a busy time uh, season for, the, for USCB athletics. How are the Sand Sharks faring this season? Yeah, a little bit of a mixed bag uh, this season. Baseball having a little bit of a down year. Uh, they had to rebuild a little bit after losing a lot of seniors last year. Softball looking good, though, ranked number 17 in the country. They've already beaten a, a lot of top 25 teams in NAIA, and uh, they just won four conference games this week, so, so they're off to a pretty good start. Uh, track and field is looking great. They've got six national qualifiers already, and really the outdoor season just got started. And then if you look at uh, the golf teams, of course, in this area, you're always going to have powerhouse golf teams. The women rank number four in the country, the men number five in the NAIA ranking. So uh, they're looking like contenders for a national championship. That's really exciting. Thanks so much for being with us, uh, Justin, and telling us all about Low Country Sports. Thanks for having me.